recording? I am. Uh, I'm so happy. Is this your new jacket? You like it's it? my new jacket. I bought it from a US nice. gear distributor nice. for like less than half the cost it would have been in Canada. And then I sailed across the high seas. Actually, I drove across the border did. and I picked them up. It was an international well, mission, though. It was an international mission of monumental proportions because I picked up seven parcels. And this was one of them. That's true. And now I languish on my bed. So basically what and you're saying is you can receive a mission that requires crossing borders, sometimes multiple times, and you will achieve said objective not only in a timely fashion, but you do so with flair. Maine McEachern, international gear smuggler, outdoor gear smuggler, and man of mystery. <clears throat> but really, this is brilliant because <laughs> I feel like I'm in a tailored sleeping bag mm -hmm. dinner jacket that's do you want to do a review? red as a lobster. A mm -hmm. review? Okay, well, given the high winds inside my bedchamber oh, and high winds, the freezing weather and the wet, I'm very, very warm and dry mm -hmm. despite all of that. Mm -hmm. And despite the long, long day of challenging conditions while driving over the border to mm -hmm. pick up the jacket and come back. Still, it's fended off everything that the highway could throw at it. That's true. From being inside the vehicle and after I picked it up. It, it still is in phenomenal condition after being dropped down the stairs when I fell. Yes. Yeah. Nary a scratch. Precisely. Did it show a scratch? It did not. So, should we uh, give a little modeling demonstration? Okay. Don't we... Why don't you do that? Zip it all the way up. Look at uh, that. Look uh, at that uh, zipper garage. Don't want to catch the zipper. Whoa, look at that whoa. zipper garage. It's like that a $350 is... jacket US. It's like almost 400 Canadian. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's very Well, nice. now you can't really read my lips, but hopefully you can still hear me. Now it's like on. being in a tailored sleeping bag dinner jacket coffin. That maybe has some negative connotations. Mausoleum? Straight jacket. Straight jacket. But, Igloo, perhaps. Igloo. I like that. Scarlet. I'm in the Scarlet Puffy Igloo. I think I think your code name should be Scarlet Igloo. S P I. That Scarlet be... Puffy Igloo. <laughs> that can be your your nom de plume, or when you want to travel undercover, you can check into hotels as Scarlet Igloo. Isn't this amazing, though? I it's mean, it's really quite spectacular. I, I mean... can I can essentially shut the entire world out, even the most fearsome alpine storm. Yeah, you know, I, I was quite like pleased with my new Patagonia jacket, but now I'm a little bit jealous, and I kind of want a new jacket now. You have been outdone I yet again, Mara? I kind of want a new jacket. You've been outdone yet again, Mara, by me. At least I got to buy mine in the children's section. Yours truly. Ugh. And it was inexpensive. Ugh. Are let you me ready? Just, let me just really put this jacket to the test. Still performing wonderfully. It, it really looks like you're doing some high octane activities there. Okay. I'm satisfied. Are you? Yes. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Now what? That is the question. Now what? Next jacket. Next jacket. Doo -doo! Jacket number two, because we got two. It is unbelievable. We got so many jackets coming at you. <laughs> One, two punch. One, this big red puffy scarlet punch. What's this? Number two, it's the Cerro Torre. You'll see it's a beautiful Amarillo Verde. That's a yellow green. Oh Going to Mexico in a week. Don't worry, I can still win the race. <laughs> She'll participate and win. I'll be back after my kite surfing expedition. I won't be taking this with me, though. Not to Mexico. I, I don't think we'll need that. All right. Ta-da!